Bok, 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 Do I need a knife for these envelopes? I don't remember anymore. Shit. Shit, fuck. Should I start off the video with shit and fuck troopers? I don't know. Anyway, this, this is not addressed to me. This is addressed to pasta. Because pasta has apparently bought gifts for other people, not me, here. Fuck, I love cheese. It's an oven mitt that says, fuck, I love cheese. And it's by Blue Q Oven Mitts. Helps you handle the hot stuff. Super insulated, 100% cotton. So, uh, Teeny, if you don't know Pasta's friends, we could go through all those in a future episode. Teeny's getting that for Christmas. Wait, there's something else in here. Oh, Jesus. Unexpected. What is this? Oh, is this more I fucking love cheese? I think it might be more. Actually, this one... Then it's a matching tea towel for the fuck I love cheese thing. Although I think the oranges are off slightly, so... Yeah, ruined. Hashtag ruined. Hashtag worst gift. Where the fuck that go? Anyway, I got a real small box. You usually don't get real small boxes. I would never ship something from like a yard sale on a box this big, because it's like, that's, that's just gonna fall between the seat of some postal worker's van and that's it. So in the future, if anyone's gonna send me something, please don't send it in a box so small that you can't possibly find it. Like it, it might, it doesn't even cost less. Literally the UPS app I ship with doesn't have an option for like envelope. So when I ship, ship an envelope, it's just a package that's one inch thick. That it doesn't have a, a difference. Um, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's a Shandling. What did Shandling send me? Who sent me a sh See, here's the thing about me and my thing. I agree to a lot of things from a lot of places, and I don't remember a lot of them, and they just come weeks later. So someone must have ordered me a Shandling Up4. Up4? Up4? Oh, it's one of the, wait. Wait, this isn't, this has no back. What is going on? What? I made egg salad. Oh, it smells like egg salad farts in here. Jesus. Um. I, I'm befuddled by a box. Because this has a, a loose flap here. But I don't think this is a box. Like, this is this is solid, though. This is... But there's no... Oh, there it is. That was weird. Ooh. I think we have exact competition. The Fio BTR5, which is pretty much one of my favorite devices. Like, holy crap, it sounds amazing. So this, bigger than a BTR3, smaller than a BTR5, high-res audio, front and back. Mode button, balanced out, regular out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I did not, I was not expecting, you know what, I remember if they showed me a picture of this. I just say yes to everything. USB-C power. I like these Bluetooth things. These are the future. I feel like these are more the future than any of those other shits. All those true wireless earbuds that everyone wants because they all want to have fucking AirPods. Fucking AirPods. Fucking AirPods. Is just like... Just get real earbuds and wire them that. And then just have a wire, you lazy bastards. Nothing wrong with a wire. Nothing wrong with wires. I like wires. So Shanling gives you a, god damn it, god damn it, give you a god damn it, give you a coronary, USB-C cable, fabric, a little stiff, but nice, they're charging, and just like the BTR5, comes with a plastic housing, uh, definitely not as nice as a clip though, that's, that's gonna break, once that breaks, you're done, and you only put it in one direction. Not the band. It does its job. All right. Uh, I usually test these things by when I do your um, streaming Wednesdays and Sundays. I always use one of these so I can broadcast sound from my other room. Hi. Hi, Boopums. Boopums is here, everybody. So that's that. That's that. Two more packages. 
None more, no more should be gifts. I end up keeping these envelopes, by the way, just to stuff in boxes. Because if I could have all my packing materials handed to me, which they basically are, that saves me some money. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. This is a continue. Oh, that was great. Wait, is that where the other one landed? Hold on a second. Got to run outside. Shuffling. Oh, there's one back there. Look where that one landed. That's magic. Fucking magic. Anyway. Um, gun friend, Joe. Second things he sent. We got a 40 caliber bolt clean, uh, bore cleaner and a 22 223 caliber bore cleaner. So that's for cleaning gurns. Gurns get dirty and you got to clean them. And here's some mil-spec CLP all-in-one form and a service of firearm. Break free. Don't drink that. I have a feeling I shouldn't drink that. And if you don't know what boar snake is, it's basically a string with a weight. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Here's what a boar snake is, all right? Follow me on this, bro. Ow. Ow. I'm getting owed. Guns are dangerous and they hurt. Everything about them hurts. Ah. Ah, the pain. There's a white ball of healing light. So a boar snake is as follows. Looks like a snake. Look, Chewbacca, snake. Are you sitting on my keyboard? Are you scrolling down? How? Well, you weren't even near anything that could scroll. Jesus. Anyway, so this has a big heavy piece of brass on it and a string. And you just drop this down your barrel or put it in the, in the actual... A bolt and you drop it down and you pull this through and this is just a really nice piece of woven fabric and occasionally it's got fucking metal sticking out of it like what is that brass brass or copper something soft and this just fucking eats shit and then it's got a loop handle here and you can go hoo, 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 hoo. don't use this on your girlfriend use it on her bores <laughs> not on the other parts. All right, lastly, a giggity tubers. I think I know what this is. Yep. So, wow, that was a shit one. For those of you who know, I reviewed this. It uh, was broken. I just, oh, that doesn't show signs of no tampering. This one new? I bought another one immediately before it dropped up to... These were sent to me by cost of free. Then um, I reviewed them, and they were like 40-something bucks. I bought another pair immediately after that review because my pair broke. Then when I released a review today, which is when I'm filming this, these were $80 on Amazon. And then Koss contacts me and is like, hey, we're going to make another thing. You want to look at it? I'm like, yeah, I do. Because I have faith in Koss, and I have no faith in Koss. It's a very strange relationship. It's like when you're getting beaten by your lover. Hearing is believing. So, look at the beautiful things that this comes in. You know what? I forgot to even talk about the fucking case. Where was the case in the review? I totally blanked on the case. Look how nice this is. Now, what happens is this literally just pulls apart and breaks that way. You see how these are, like, nice? Yeah, they, they apparently just break. They apparently just break. And here's the thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go get my crazy glue... I'll put these on my ears. Let me extend them to where they're comfortable. Wear them. Get them nice and sorted. Take them off like that. And I'm going to crazy glue the fuck out of this. And it actually is pretty much almost perfectly straight. I might try to hold them perfectly straight and then crazy glue that and just see how it feels. Like that's fine. Perfectly straight is fine. And then once these bits can't these twisty bits can't destroy themselves and break and fall apart. It's an absolutely worthwhile pair of headphones. 40, 50, 100. It's like having to change pads on something. Someone was complaining, oh, Zeus, you should have shit all over these. Yeah, but there's some headphones that I don't recommend unless you, unless you change the pads. So we're just going to not use those headphones because you have to change pads? M40Xs suck stock pads. M40Xs change the pads? Fucking amazing. So, costs SP, uh, SP330s, suck because they're going to break. Unless you glue them. And they're never going to break. I mean, this is big enough. You could almost just tape around this. 
which would be a much less destructive act. Or I could just use them until they break, but I feel like I want to just get them not going to break ever again, ever go with that. So yeah, that's been this unboxing. Chewbacca, you cool? I'm cool, you're cool, we're cool, thank you. Good night. Don't forget to check out Princess Pasta's Patreon in the description.